Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. And today, we're going to the second round in my 1990-91 season with the North Stars. As you will recall, we knocked off Chicago in round one. Um, I believe it was four games to one. I think that's what it was, four games to one. Um, and so we advanced to the second round. Now, also in the second round, already, just to bring everybody up to date, L.A. beat Calgary four games to nothing. So L.A. has advanced to the next round. And if we happen to get by St. Louis, we would play the Kings. Over in the East, what I'm calling the East, which it wasn't in 1991, uh, Boston got by Montreal four games to three, and the Rangers beat the Flyers four games to one. So the East final, East final, is going to be Boston and the Rangers. And they are waiting, the LA Kings are waiting to see whether they will play us or St. Louis because that's who we have in the next round. So let's get on to it. I'm going to, uh, St. Louis will be a uh, computer and we will be um, computer lines, human decisions. Turn down the volume. And we've got Hayward in there. That's not going to happen. So I don't know why we always, the computer always wants to start the series off uh, with us um, having Hayward in net. I don't know why he does that, but I'm going to Casey. So we will start with Casey in the net and we will get going. Let's, let's get going. So let's see if we can get the puck past Cujo and just the way we did, uh, much the same way as we did get it past uh, uh, Belfour in the previous round. So if you watch the previous round or any of the previous games, I think that the, uh-oh, uh we got a penalty, Jim Johnson. I think the reason we beat the um the blackhawks was because they had way too many penalties as and i say that and here we are with our first penalty of the game so we're starting off shorthanded which is not good at all and now uh brown has the puck of course now i have to relearn all of these guys so this is uh jeff brown of st louis um, cause I was very familiar with the Blackhawks players after having played five games against them. So let's see what happens if they can get anything going to Nordy has the puck. And I think he lost it and there's going to be an inside shot for their right wing potentially. And there is Brett Hull and he scores. Just like that, the penalty costs us. So, not good. We're, we're down one nothing. So... And we got Giles with the puck. See if he can do something with it. And now Doug Schmale has the puck for us. 
And uh, they take it away and they're going to have an outside shot. Or at least that was what looked like was going to happen. And now they got it inside. So Wilson has the uh, inside shot. And he scores. Oh, man. Yeah, the St. Louis series might not be so good. That may not this this series may not go so well. So we got another face off at center ice. 17-14 of the first period and we're already down 2 nothing on two shots no less. And uh, Brian Glenn has the puck for us. I think they may have taken it away. And they did. So Featherston has the puck. Glenn Featherston. With the puck for St. Louis. Oh, I finally I can get an outside shot or pick a player for a shot. Um, yeah, I guess we'll go with Craig. And he's going to lose it to the defensive center for St. Louis. So that means Meager has it. Rick Meager. Got to learn these names. I got to learn these names because, I mean, it's going to be at least four games. And Berezin has an outside shot. If you remember the first goal of the Chicago series for us, I think, was Berezin and from the outside. So, of course, how he keeps, you know, making the roster, I don't know. But anyway, I don't have uh, – I'm not the one to say. I just kind of, you know, play with whatever the computer sends me for the tournament. So. Uh, player for the shot, yeah, Bellows is, is a good choice, you know. I would say Bellows is a good choice. And now Bellows has an outside shot, and he rolls an eight, which is a rebound on Joseph. And any defensive player who is a three, and do they, they do. So, uh, they... Pick up the puck with Gino Cavallini. And uh, we'll see what uh, they do with it. I am definitely going to try to intimidate and take the puck away at 75%. And he does. Jim Johnson does rough him up and take the puck away from him. So let's see what we got here. Garth Butcher. Tried to take down Tenorti, but he couldn't, so now Tenorti has an inside shot. But that's going to be lose to the left wing for St. Louis. And that is Bob Basson. Bob Basson, I knew. I didn't have to guess what his name might be. I do remember Bob Basson. So they tried to penetrate and get a better shot and they were unsuccessful so now Tenorti has the puck for us 1205 left in the first but we're down to nothing and let's see what we got And we take the puck away. So Mike Craig has the puck. And now they've got the puck back, Tomlinson. And now we've got the puck. Barrison has the puck. I'll, you know, I'll give it to him. Let's see if he, if we get a chance to pass or no. It's just going to be an outside shot. Goalie rating though, save either defenseman. He almost had another outside shot goal. That sob. All right. So St. Louis has the puck back. They still have the lead. 
10.23 left in the first period. And uh, now Brian Glenn has the puck. I think we turned it over and now it looks like maybe Brown has it for St. Louis. And I am, I'm, I'll, I'll try to intimidate. It's probably not going to work though. No, he did. Oh, but he's going to get a penalty. Yep. Bellows knocked him off the puck, but uh, got a penalty in the, uh... no. All right, the extra mine, I, I'll give it to Dolan, I guess. I don't know. So, yeah, we're going to be shorthanded again. Not good. We're already down 2 nothing. We really didn't need to be shorthanded on the ice. And there's going to be a face-off to Casey's right in our end. And uh, they're going to have an inside shot possibility, but we can try to intimidate, as I will, on Adam Oates. And Dahlquist takes the puck away from Oates. Nice. So, 9.37 left in the first. And Brindamore, Rod Brindamore has an inside shot. And it's a save going to the center, but we don't have a center because we're on a penalty. So it looks like Scott, Scott Stevens has it. And uh, inside shot for somebody with our chance to intimidate. And we did. So Dahlquist got the puck back without another shot being uh, unloaded by St. Louis. Who is, by the way, out shooting? No, they're not out shooting us. It's three to four. Marois. Mario Marois just took a shot and missed, and now Smale has the puck. We're out shooting them, actually, 4-3, to three, but on the scoreboard, we're down 2 nothing, which is more important. And Oates has an inside shot for St. Louis. That's going to be a save, and the right wing comes up with it for us. And that's going to be Madano, and it looks like the penalty is over. So we survived the penalty, and now it's four shots apiece, but they're still winning 2 nothing. Cavallini with the puck. And Madano is going to have an outside shot. And that's a goalie rating 10 face-off. All right. What I'm going to do now is, as I have done in the past with the regular season games, and I think I've done it probably with a couple of the uh, Blackhawk games, I am going to actually move ahead in the action. So uh, let's see here. Game. Quick play, and I'm going to quick play to two minutes left in the uh, first period. And we do that, and we are still only losing 2 nothing, and out shooting them now 8-6, to six, and Dahlquist has the puck. And there's only a minute, actually only a minute 14 left in the first quarter. And I will do this again also if it starts to become a blowout. And, um, I mean, if that happens, I'm hoping it doesn't. But Tomlinson with an outside shot on Casey, and that is a lose to the left wing. So our left wing comes away with it. But yeah, if we if this game starts to get out of hand, I will skip ahead so that we don't have to watch the entire agonizing thing. Uh, being, being down 2 nothing for us is bad enough because we don't really have a high-octane offense. That did show up once. I'm going to try to intimidate. That showed up once. Uh, no penalty. Good. That did show up once in the, uh, no, maybe twice. I think it was twice we scored at least four goals against Chicago. The last game was a real barn burner. We scored a lot of points, a lot of goals. But um, Jim Johnson with the puck, but it's not something that we do a lot. 
And if you watched any of the games during the season, you'll see we won a lot of games. And in fact, we won, I think, three of the Blackhawk, two of the, two of the Blackhawk games. That's the end of the first period. I think we won two or three of the Blackhawk games by the score of two to one. And then one we won in a barn burner, and then one we lost in a barn burner. We scored four goals, but we lost the game. So, yeah, let's see what happens here. We, you know, 20 minutes here in the uh, second period. Shots are eight to seven us, but we're still losing two nothing. And I am going to try to intimidate with Jim Johnson. And he has the puck, so let's see what he can do. I am going to try to intimidate again with Jim Johnson. I guess he lost the puck. And Stevens, he smacks Stevens down. So let's see what happens here. Outside shot only. No, Stevens got the puck back from him and has an outside shot. That's going to be a rebound. No, Brindamore intercepts it and has a chance to redirect it. And it's uh, saved by Casey. And I will give it to Gagne. So, Gagne with the puck. And we have a 2 nothing deficit that we got to make up. And so we got to get going here pretty quickly. Wilson with the puck for St. Louis. That's going to be uh, Jeff Brown from the outside. And that's going to be a save. And the right wing for us comes along and gets the puck. And that's Doug Schmale. Doug Smale with the puck, and there's Basson takes the puck away from him and has an outside shot. So let's see what happens there. It's going to be a save, and the right wing comes up with it. And we got Mike Craig with the puck. And Brown has the, uh, he takes the puck away and he has an outside shot. And that's going to be a save defensive center. And our de defensive center has it. So we will hopefully get something going. We got to get something going because we're not even really, we're kind of in disarray and we're not even really being able to. Uh, Tomlinson takes the puck away and has an outside shot. And that's a rebound. And defensive right wing has the puck. So that that's Ulf Dahlen with the puck for us. 15.05 left. The second period. And that was a great pass. And now Bellows has an inside shot. Eight. That's a rebound. Let's hope we got we got the rebound. Picked it up. Nope. Well, no, he did he wasn't a three, so Dahlquist has it but that's a save and it goes to the defensive center for st louis and that's adam oates big adam oates so we are losing two nothing here 14 32 left in the second time is ticking away we don't need that we got an outside shot though with broughton i'm gonna try to pass with him we got to try to work it inside and yes, uh, I'm going to give it to Bellows. I'm going to give the inside shot to Bellows. Let's see if we can get something off of that. Nope. That's a save by Cujo, and it goes to the right wing for St. Louis. And that's Brindamore, Rod Brindamore with the puck. And Gagne, yeah, I'll give it to Gagne. Let's see what we can do with Gagne. 
Can't knock him off the puck, so he's got an inside shot. That's a seven goalie rating. Seven save. Either defenseman. All right. Cujo is proving to be a little... Well, actually, I don't even want to say that because, um, really, Belfour played great in the in the uh, Chicago series. It's just we haven't been able to get the one or two goals, at least, that we need to tie. We always seem to be able to get just what we needed against Belfour. But in this game, to lead off the second round of the playoffs, we're not getting that. So... So, Doug Smale has an outside shot option. He's just going to shoot because he's not good at passing. He's not good at getting inside. And that's going to be a save defensive right defenseman for St. Louis. That's going to be Garth Butcher. Garth Butcher picking up the puck. And there's going to be a penalty and probably on Tenorti. Looks like, yeah. So we are shorthanded again. And again, this is not where you want to be. This is what costs um, Chicago the series against us. And now it's us who's spending all the time in the penalty box. Not the way to go. Jeff Brown has it for St. Louis. And, uh, yeah, we've got to try to intimidate because we've got to try to stop the shots. But we can't, and Brett Hull has an inside shot on Casey, and that is a save. Weird. All right. So, uh, yeah, I guess it had to be one to two um, to be a goal. So, face off to Casey's right. He's holding us in the game, but, I mean, Cujo's a tough customer, so... We don't seem to be getting what we need against him. And Neil Broughton has it for us, so let's see if he can keep the puck away from St. Louis for another 101 so that we can kill off the penalty. Barrison with the... All right, I'll take Barrison with the shot. Uh, yeah, he's going to just shoot it. We'll just take the shot, try to keep the puck down in their end. That's going to be a save, and the left wing comes away with it. Cavallini has it. Gino Cavallini with the puck. And, yeah, we got to try to take the puck away and keep it away from him. And we can't, so Paul Cavallini. As the puck, the Cavallini brothers giving us a little bit of heartburn here. But Casey made the save, and now Brian Glenn has the puck for us. And we, you know, since that shaky start in the first period, we've settled down a little bit, but we still haven't really been able to put things together. And McLean is going to have an outside shot, and Casey makes the save. Hits the post. So, uh, Basil McRae comes up with the puck. The penalty's over. We're still ahead in shots, 15-14. We're staying right there with the shots. But they're not quality shots, and we are still losing 2 nothing. Barrison with an outside shot. I am going to try to penetrate with Barrison. And he did. Unbelievable. Barrison got inside. Nice. So now Berezin has an inside shot, and that's a nine goalie rating, ten face off. So, all right, we, it's the rolls just aren't going our way. I mean, that's really what's going on here. So, second period, eight forty-eight left. Um, Kurt Giles with it looks like. Um, I'm going to just take the shot because he's really not that great at taking a uh, passing and he's not that great at getting inside. Goalie rating, nine. Goal! Nice! Nice! All right. 
So it's two to one now. So now we're starting to we're starting to come to life. Maybe we had I don't know. Maybe we had too much of a layoff between the uh, first round and the second round. So it's two to one St. Louis now, and we're leading in shots seventeen fourteen. And uh, eight oh five left in the second period. And Brett Hull takes the puck away and looks like he has an outside shot, but an outside shot only. And that's going to be a save right wing. So our right wing comes away with it. That's all Dolan. And Glenn gets hammered into the boards by Brown. And now Mario Marois has it. And Quinn, he hits Quinn with a nice stretch pass, and he has an outside shot, which is a rebound. Let's see if we come away with it. No nope. offensive left wing, or right wing, looks like he's going to have it. And that's Rod Brindamore. And he's going to get a 7, which is goalie rating, and 8, which is a face-off. Good. Nice. Casey saving our butts again. Face-off to his right. 7.04 left in the second period. And that's going to be Brindamore from the inside, stealing it. And uh, we're going to give it to Dahlquist because he's across from an A. So let's go. Let's see what happens. Dumps it. And Quinn comes up with the puck and has an outside shot. And that's going to be a save and the left wing coming away with the puck. And that's Duchesne. Gatan Duchesne. But he loses the puck to Suter, and so now Suter for St. Louis has the puck with 525 left in the second period. And our Minnesota North Stars down two to one. And there's a breakaway, Doug Schmale. Four is a save in the left wing, comes up with it. Cujo's coming up huge for them. And that brings up Tomlinson with the puck for St. Louis. Outside shot for left wing. Uh, let's see. That would be us, right? Yeah. Basil McRae, I'm just going to take the shot. I mean, what the heck? We scored on an outside shot, but that's going to be a save defensive right defenseman for St. Louis. So, Garth Butcher with the puck. And Tenorti, Tenorti's going to take the puck away and has an outside shot. That's a rebound. I am going to try to deflect it, and that's going to be with Craig. Right wing, Mike Craig, seven, no. Did not work. That plan did not work. So now Scott Stevens has the puck. 333 left in the second. And that's going to be uh, Jim Johnson going to the penalty box again for the second or third time? Second time at least. It's at least the second time.
and Marwa has it for St. Louis. There's 316 left in the second period. We're down by a goal and up by a shot, but that doesn't really matter. I am going to try to intimidate at 33, whatever it was, 33%. And it works. Doug Smale gets the puck back. 142 left in the penalty. 240 left in the period. Contained Shane. Uh, Duchesne has an outside shot option. I'm just going to take it. That's a three, which is a save defensive left defenseman. And now Scott Stevens has it for St. Louis, 212 left in the second period. And Mario Marois has an outside shot. That's going to be a lose to the right defenseman. So Dahlquist has the puck. And let's see what happens here. And Marois takes it away and has an inside shot. And that's going to be a save for Casey. And now Giles has the puck for us. 51 seconds left in the second period. Looks like we'll go to the third period down by a goal. Unless Madano can put it in right now. Possible penalty, but there is. I think Marois got a penalty. No, Cavallini. Cavallini got, well, there's a penalty unless um, Madonna scores. And there's got a goalie rating and a face off. And then, yes, Cavallini will go to the box. So we're going to have a uh, power play for most of uh, two minutes. Well, really about a minute. In the, into the uh, third period, a little over a minute. And uh, yeah, let's give it to Bellows. Give it to Bellows. And Bellows has an outside shot. I'm gonna pass it with him. And that's going to be a uh, pretty pass for, let's give it to Madonna. I'm relying a little too much here on Madonna, but, you know, he was good. What am I going to say? All right, so that's a save right wing and Ryan Suter with the puck. 42 seconds left. And failed skate, so we took the puck away. Uh, yeah, Gagne. Gagne's good. I don't know. Gagne is going to pass it. And uh, we'll give it to Bellows this time because we gave it to Madonna last time and he blew it. And that's really only an outside shot even. So I don't know why we were looking at a great pass for an outside shot, but. Scott Stevens has control of the puck, 37 seconds left. And he failed to skate, so we got the puck back again. Um, Dave Gagne, yeah. I'm gonna try to penetrate this time with Gagne. And he did penetrate. He got inside. And now he's gonna take an inside shot. Six, goalie rating plus seven, save either defenseman. And that's the end of the period. So we go to the third period down by a goal, but we have a man advantage for another minute nine or something. So. Jim Johnson comes away with the puck off that opening scrum.
Madano inside. Nice pass. Goalie rating four faceoffs. I just can't get those good rolls on that on those goalie ratings, and we're not going to get a lot of them. So. Let's see what happens here. The sc a scrum and the puck rolls to Mike Madano. I'm going to try to penetrate with Madano. And he failed to penetrate. Dang. Just barely, too. So Wilson comes away with the puck. Do we have it? No. Oh. Kind of see what's going on. Failed skate, so we're going to get the puck back. Uh, Mike Madano, yeah, let's give it to him. 18.56 left in the game. I'm going to try to penetrate with him. And he did get inside, so let's see what he can do. Got to believe we've used up all the good goalie ratings. Nope, there's one. But again, face off on four after we got the goalie rating. And we are, and we're seriously out shooting them, 27 to 19, but we're still down two to one with 1851 left in regulation. And their left wing is going to come away with the puck. And that's. Dave Lowry. And we I think we took it away and have an outside shot for the right wing. Is that us or is that Hall? Nope. That was Hall and he tried to get inside and couldn't. So now Tenorti has the puck for us. 1753 left. And that's going to be, uh, yeah, we're going to try to intimidate. Yeah. Nice hit, heavy hit on, on Stevens. Let's hope we avoid the penalty, and we do. Never even came up, wasn't even part of the discussion. But it looks like they took the puck away and have an outside shot with Scott Stevens. And that's going to be a save, and our left defenseman will come away with the puck, and that's Mark Tenorti. And Quinn with a breakaway. They took the puck away, and Quinn had got a breakaway shot. Eight rebound. Let's hope that it goes to us. Defensive center if a two. I would hope he is. And he is. That's Bobby Smith. 16.05 left. And there's a penalty, and it's probably on him. Yes. Ron Wilson. The former coach of the Washington Capitals, and I believe the Anaheim Ducks, too, wasn't he? So, anyway, um, we've got another two minutes of power play action. Bob Basson, though, has it for them, and he failed to skate. So, we'll have, looks like we might have another opportunity here. They're keeping us in the game. They're keeping us around. It's not a good idea. Brian Prop. Yeah, there's a there's a name I haven't called all game yet. And he's going to try to penetrate. Looks like he's looking for somebody to pass to instead, and we lose the puck. Adam Oates has control of it with 15.55 left. We got to do better than that when we've got a uh, great opportunity to, to try to get the puck to somebody down low and, and score, especially on a power play. Uh, Ulf Dolan, yeah, I'll give it to Ulf. And he is going to, I'm going to try to penetrate with Ulf Dolan, and he does. 
One of these times, it's got to happen. All stalling inside. Dice uh, rolls a five, and that's going to be a save left defenseman. Cujo has just really been real huge in this game. And so Paul Cavallini has it. And we got to see what the next action is. Still a minute 16 left in the penalty to uh, Wilson now. All right, Prop has an outside shot. I'm going to try to pass it with him this time. And he loses control. And now St. Louis has the puck back. We can't keep blowing these opportunities because we're not going to get them too often. So Garth Butcher now has the puck for St. Louis. Failed skate, so we got the puck back. And uh, Brian Prop, yeah, let's give it to him. See what he can do. Going to try to penetrate inside with him. And he did get inside, just barely, but he did. And so now Prop has an inside shot. That's an eight. It's a rebound. And it looked like Wilson got it. Uh, now it's Brett Hull. Brett Hull with the, or no, Butcher with the puck. 13.48 left. We're out shooting them 29-21, but we're still losing by a goal. Lowry gets tripped up, so we might have the puck here, and we do. All stalling with it. 13.17 left in regulation. And uh, Neil Broughton. Yeah, let's give it to Neil Broughton. That's a, a name I haven't called too much, if at all, yet. And Broughton's going to be inside. So an inside shot for Broughton. Four, no, save, defensive right defenseman. Again, Cujo coming up huge for him. And Garth Butcher with the puck. 12.51 left in regulation. Only losing 2-1. to one. And Madonna intercepts it. Madonna was going to try to penetrate, and he failed to penetrate. God. All right. <clears throat> Gino Cavallini has it. In the other half of the uh, aforementioned Cavallini brothers. And now Madonna took it away and has an outside shot. That's going to be a save, though, and their center is going to come up with it. With 12.06, 12.05, left in uh, 11.35 now, left in the in regulation in the third period. And we will try to intimidate because we cannot, certainly cannot allow another goal. But Basson works himself inside anyway and has a shot, and it's a save left wing. So our left wing comes up with it, and that is Duchesne. We got to get something going. We got to have a couple more charges here. Try to get down ice and score. I will try to uh, intimidate. Doesn't work, and Suter has an inside shot right on top of him. Rebound. Nice save. And uh, any offensive player plus injury, which probably is waved off. So Basson with an, a goalie rating and a face-off. So there's going to be a face-off to Casey's right. Still losing by a goal. Now there's 11.05 left.
And Paul Cavallini is going to come up with it, looks like. Inside shot for center. Adam Oates. Gets a 7. That's a goalie rating. That's an 8. That's a face off. So Casey makes yet another save. Again, Casey really helping our cause out because we uh, are really still in this. Inside shot for right wing. And that's Brett Hull. Save defensive center. Our center will come away with it. That's Neil Broughton. But there's 1027 left for us to get at least one goal and send it to overtime. And, but Oates takes the puck away, and now he has it. 9.48 left. Outside shot for their right wing, it looks like. And he got inside, and that's going to be Hull. So that's trouble. Brett Hull inside. And that's going to be a goal. All right. Nine forty-eight. I'm going to zoom ahead to the uh, to three minutes left in the game and see if we're in better shape at three minutes left in the game because it's three to one. So let's see. Game quick play. Three minutes left in the third period. We do that, and it's still three to one. 256 actually left. Rebound to any offensive player. That's a nice thing to, to wake up to, though. Madano with a rebound shot. That's going to be a save any player for St. Louis. And we're really massively out shooting them. 35-28. But we're down 3-1 to one with 237 left, which is probably not good. Next time the Action stops. I'm going to pull uh, Casey because I mean we got no choice. Okay, Gagne, yeah. Um, I'm going to have him pass, and he loses the puck. So we are going to go to the visitors lines. Pull the goalie, and uh, the extra skater is going to be Bobby Smith. Yeah, let's go Bobby Smith. All right, so we've got a massive uh, power play here, and they failed to skate. So let's see what we can do here. With 227 left in regulation, down 3-1. to one. Gonna give it to Bellows, yeah, let's do that. Penetrate, and looks like he's gonna look for somebody to pass to, inside shot for center. Brown can't stop him, Gagne is inside for the inside shot. That's an eight, that's a rebound. You would think it would have to come to us. Offensive right wing, good. And that's Dolan. Off Dolan with, an, uh, with a rebound shot. That's going to be another rebound. Joseph's a pin, human pin cushion here. A little shot action. But they get the puck back because they are back at, um, well, not quite even strength because we still have a skater advantage because of the goalie being pulled. But Brian Glenn has the puck for us. Minute 22. And all Dolan with an outside shot. And that's going to be a save. It's off the post. And uh, so let's see what happens here. Uh, we're going to pass it.
and Gagne with an inside shot. That's going to be a saved left defenseman. And I think we're running low on power here, so it looks like we're going to lose the game. So if this cuts off, just so you know, my computer's running low on storage. It's a big problem. Quinn inside. And that looks like it's going to be a goal. No, no, it isn't. 